This story starts with a civilization that dominated the world for nearly 3,000 years. I think we, when we look at a civilization and what it is and what it's achieving and, and why it's so special. Ancient Egypt, with its grand pyramids, tombs and temples, has always captivated humanity's imagination. Ancient Egypt had a totally different focus. Yeah, they were great at making material things. But beneath its majestic monuments, a mystery lies unsolved. One that spans across centuries and involves one of Egypt's most famous pharaohs. Tutankhamun, the boy king, left behind a treasure trove of artifacts. But what about the secret of his family? Today, thanks to the latest scientific breakthroughs. When we take DNA samples from mummies, we notice that most of the samples are the same, which is indicative of inbreeding and genetics. We are finally unlocking the genetic secrets of the 18th dynasty. Renowned researcher Graham Hancock has long challenged our understanding of ancient history. Could his theories hold a key to uncovering the true cause of their downfall? The Discovery of Tutankhamun's Tomb in November 1922, one of the most astounding archaeological discoveries in history was made in the Valley of the Kings. Howard Carter, an English archaeologist, had been searching for years, hoping to find the tomb of a minor pharaoh of the 18th dynasty, Tutankhamun. Little did he know that this discovery would change everything about how we perceive ancient Egypt. For years, Egyptologists believed that all the important tombs had already been looted, but Tutankhamun's tomb was untouched by robbers a miraculous stroke of luck for Carter. As he descended a set of steps in the Valley of the Kings, Carter uncovered an entrance that led to a secret chamber, an incredible treasure trove of gold, precious artifacts, and even chariots, all untouched by time. The discovery of the tomb sparked international excitement and focused global attention on this previously little-known pharaoh. In the days that followed, Carter made a shocking find. Two small coffins, containing the mummified remains of two unborn children. Who were these children? What did their presence in the tomb signify? These questions have haunted scientists ever since, and the search for answers would take many more decades, with modern science providing the tools to finally uncover their mysteries. This monumental discovery shifted the world's perception of Egypt's royal past, highlighting the extraordinary treasures of the 18th dynasty and opening new avenues for understanding the life and death of its rulers. The Mystery of the Two Miniature Coffins Inside Tutankhamun's tomb, amid the dazzling treasures, were two small coffins, unassuming in appearance, but potentially the key to understanding the dynasty's tragic end. These coffins contain the mummified remains of two fetuses, possibly the children of Tutankhamun himself. But why were they buried with him? And why had they been preserved so carefully? When Howard Carter first uncovered them, their significance was unclear. Were these the children of Tutankhamun and his wife, Ankhesenamun? Did their premature deaths play a role in the collapse of the royal family? The fetuses appeared to be of royal lineage, as evidenced by the care with which they had been embalmed. The fact that such tiny bodies were treated with such reverence spoke to their importance. For decades, the fetuses' identities remained a mystery. Was this a case of an unfortunate stillbirth, or was there something more sinister at play? As scientists now investigate the possibility of genetic diseases, the fetuses' DNA could hold the answer. Could they have inherited a genetic disorder that contributed to the family's early demise? If so, their death would have been more than a tragedy. It could have been the beginning of the dynasty's downfall. Tutankhamun's Family Tree to understand the mystery surrounding Tutankhamun's death, it's crucial to examine the complex web of relationships within the royal family. Tutankhamun, often depicted as a boy king who ascended the throne at a young age, was born into one of Egypt's most tumultuous royal families. His father, Akhenaten, famously abandoned Egypt's traditional pantheon of gods in favor of worshiping a single deity, the sun god Aten. This radical move alienated the priests and elites of Egypt, setting the stage for a fragile political environment. Tutankhamun's mother, Queen Nefertiti, was a powerful figure in her own right. Her influence was felt even after her husband's death, but she mysteriously disappears from historical records. Tutankhamun's lineage is complicated further by the fact that his parents were likely related. Akhenaten and Nefertiti are thought to have been brother and sister, a common practice among Egyptian royalty to maintain pure bloodlines. But this inbreeding might have had severe consequences for their offspring, 
When Tutankhamun took the throne, he was a child, and his reign was marked by regency and instability. The mystery of his family, how it rose to power and ultimately crumbled, has been a subject of debate for generations. Could genetic disorders possibly linked to inbreeding have played a role in the dynasty's sudden end? Modern DNA testing may provide the answers we've been searching for. DNA Extraction from Mummies With new scientific advancements, scientists have started applying DNA technology to unravel ancient mysteries, none more exciting than the challenge of extracting DNA from ancient Egyptian mummies. Unlike other forms of archaeological evidence, the genetic material preserved in mummies offers an unprecedented look into the past, allowing scientists to study the health, family relationships, and even diseases that plagued ancient civilizations. Obtaining DNA from mummies is no easy feat. The harsh conditions of mummification along with the passage of millennia make the process difficult and often unreliable. However, the advancements in ancient DNA extraction have allowed researchers to unlock secrets from mummified remains that were once thought to be irretrievably lost. Tutankhamun's tomb has become a focal point for this type of research. Scientists are now studying DNA from various mummies within the royal family to uncover familial relationships, including whether inbreeding played a significant role in the health of the rulers. The study of Tutankhamun's own DNA could reveal clues to his genetic makeup, helping to explain the many health issues that he may have faced, as well as the conditions that affected his family members. The ability to extract DNA from these ancient remains is opening new doors to understanding the past and may reveal shocking truths about one of history's most enigmatic families. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The Role of Inbreeding in the Dynasty's Decline One of the most fascinating and troubling aspects of the 18th Dynasty's royal family is the prevalence of inbreeding. It was a common practice among Egyptian pharaohs to marry within the family, particularly brother-sister unions, to preserve the purity of the royal bloodline. But this practice may have come with significant genetic costs. DNA analysis has shed new light on the extent of inbreeding within the 18th dynasty. Studies of the mummies have revealed clear signs that many of the royal family members were closely related, which likely contributed to genetic disorders. When we take DNA samples from mummies, we notice that most of the samples are the same, which is indicative of inbreeding and genetics. Tutankhamun himself, for example, is believed to have been the product of a brother-sister marriage between his parents, Akhenaten and Nefertiti. Inbreeding may have led to a higher incidence of recessive genetic conditions, potentially explaining the many health problems faced by the royal family. Tutankhamun was known to have had numerous physical ailments, including a cleft palate and a clubbed foot. Moreover, his early death at the age of 18 suggests that the family may have been suffering from a genetic disorder that had been passed down through generations. But was this genetic issue the direct cause of the dynasty's downfall? The answer may lie within the DNA of the mummies, offering insights into how inbreeding contributed to the tragic end of Egypt's once great royal family. The Mystery of Akhenaten's Genetic Anomalies Akhenaten, Tutankhamun's father, is one of the most unusual and controversial figures in Egyptian history. Known for his radical religious reforms and the establishment of a monotheistic worship of the sun god Atin, Akhenaten's reign marked a dramatic departure from the traditions that had defined Egyptian culture for centuries. But it's not just his religious innovations that make him a subject of fascination. His physical appearance was also unique. The art from the Amarna period, the time of Akhenaten's rule, depicts him with exaggerated, almost alien-like features, an elongated face, a long chin, and an oddly shaped body with broad hips. These features have led many to speculate that Akhenaten suffered from a genetic disorder, possibly Marfan syndrome, a condition that affects connective tissue and can result in tall, slender body proportions. What we found through research suggests that the disease that could be responsible for this inbreeding might be Marfan syndrome. Recent DNA analysis could hold the key to understanding whether Akhenaten's strange appearance was the result of a genetic disorder. If Akhenaten did indeed suffer from a hereditary condition, it could have been passed on to his descendants, contributing to the family's health problems. Some experts believe that Akhenaten's appearance may have been a symptom of a larger, undiagnosed genetic condition. Was he a victim of his royal lineage? Or was his physicality simply a product of artistic style? 
the search for Tutankhamun's fetus and its DNA. Among the most significant finds in Tutankhamun's tomb were the two fetuses found in miniature coffins. For years, these tiny remains have puzzled researchers. Were these fetuses the children of Tutankhamun and his wife, Ankhesenamun? What role did they play in the royal family, and what caused their deaths? The importance of these fetuses goes far beyond mere curiosity. They may hold the key to understanding the genetic health of the 18th dynasty. Researchers believe that by extracting DNA from these fetuses, they could potentially answer many questions about the royal family's lineage and health. Could the fetuses have inherited the same genetic disorders that plagued their parents? Could they be evidence of a fatal genetic condition that contributed to the family's demise? DNA extraction from such ancient remains is a delicate process. The DNA in the fetuses is fragmentary and degraded, making it difficult to obtain usable genetic material. They're trying to collect the samples for DNA testing, and ancient DNA is really difficult to get because it's ruined. However, modern advancements in DNA sequencing and amplification are allowing scientists to pull valuable information from even the most fragile remains. As scientists work to extract DNA from the fetuses, they hope to uncover whether they were indeed Tutankhamun's children and whether their deaths were part of the tragic pattern of genetic disorders that plagued the royal family. The discovery of the mystery body in tomb KV-55. In addition to the well-known discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb, the Valley of the Kings has yielded other intriguing finds. One such discovery is the body found in tomb KV-55, a mysterious figure whose identity has long been debated. Some archaeologists initially believed the body was that of Akhenaten's mother, Queen Tie, but further examination suggested that the body was male. This discovery has sparked speculation that the body may belong to Akhenaten himself. The body's physical features are strikingly similar to those of Tutankhamun, and the tomb's layout mirrors that of Akhenaten's royal tomb in Amarna. However, the body in KV-55 was poorly preserved, and its age and sex have raised doubts about whether it was Akhenaten or possibly one of Tutankhamun's older brothers. For years, the identity of the body remained a mystery. Was this the body of Akhenaten, the heretic pharaoh who broke from Egypt's traditional religious practices? Or was it the body of his son, a brief ruler in his own right? Perhaps the mysterious Smenkkare? With the advent of DNA testing, researchers are now able to analyze the body's genetic makeup to determine whether it was indeed Akhenaten. If so, this would provide direct evidence about the genetic disorders that might have contributed to the downfall of the royal family. Analyzing the DNA results After years of painstaking research, scientists have begun to unravel the DNA mysteries of the 18th dynasty. The analysis of royal mummies, including Tutankhamun, Akhenaten, and their relatives, has provided fascinating insights into the genetic health of Egypt's royal family. One of the most significant findings has been the confirmation of inbreeding at the beginning of the dynasty, with marriages between brothers and sisters common in the early generations. However, DNA analysis has also revealed that the genetic health of the family was not consistently compromised throughout the dynasty. By the time Tutankhamun took the throne, there appears to have been a genetic reset. New genetic material from outside the royal family entered through marriages, and the inbreeding practices that began the dynasty were no longer as prevalent. The DNA of the mummies has also provided evidence of various genetic disorders. Tutankhamun's health problems, for instance, can be traced to a combination of genetic factors. Some scientists believe that Tutankhamun's death at such a young age, just 18, was the result of a genetic disorder that left him frail and susceptible to disease. The results of these DNA analyses are helping to clarify the complex web of relationships within the 18th dynasty and are shedding new light on the health issues that may have brought about its sudden end. The story of Tutankhamun and his royal family has fascinated us for centuries. Through the remarkable advancements in DNA technology, we are now able to peer into the genetic makeup of one of history's most enigmatic families. While the causes of their decline remain shrouded in mystery, the answers we uncover from their DNA are helping to rewrite the history of ancient Egypt. From the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb to the intricate family ties that bound his lineage, 
Modern science is bringing us closer to understanding why this once great dynasty ultimately came to a tragic end. The secrets of the 18th dynasty continue to emerge, one DNA strand at a time.